Hello from Lloyd BMW South Lakes. Today we have this very versatile BMW X4. It's a 30D M Sport finished in Sophisto grey with black leather interior. It's a 2020 car on a 20 plate. It's covered just over 3,500 miles, so not many miles at all. Uh, being the M Sport, you get the more aggressive front bumpers. You've also got the black grills on this model as well. You've got these gorgeous 20 inch diamond cut wheels which are part of the M Sport Plus pack. You've also got the M Sport brakes in there as well. So you've got the bigger brakes with the blue brake calipers. So uh, really, really uh, nice. Being the X4, you get the kind of sloping back to it. A little bit more sporty than the X3. And you can see also on the back of this car, you've got the uh, darkened glass, the privacy glass as well there. Inside, you've got black leather. You've got this very nice grey contrast stitching and you've got these, uh, which I really like, uh, M seat belts. So you get the M colours in the seat belts as well. Um, being the uh, M Sport, you get the sport seats, you get the bigger side bolsters uh, holding in place. You've got the adjustable under thigh support. The uh, seat is height adjustable and tilt adjustable as well. So uh, really, really uh, comfortable. I'll just jump inside. Uh. So you can then see the mileage, 3,546 miles. Close the door. Um, like modern BMWs, as long as you've got the key on you, foot on the brake, press the start button and it comes to life. Um, nice big screen, sat nav screen, touch sensitive as well. Um, or you can control the screen from the eye controller down here. Usual things you'd find on there, obviously uh, Bluetooth for your phone, sat nav, etc. So that's all uh, all on the screen up up here. Below that, a couple of air vents. You've then got your favourite buttons down here, so you can put people's phone numbers, places, and store those as favourites. Below that, you've got your uh, climate control, so your passenger can have a separate focus there for you. So your passenger can have a different temperature to your driver, so no more arguments. And you've also got heated seats as well, so uh, in the front at least, um, three-stage heating. Uh, let's turn the passenger off, and I think I'll have mine on one degree there. Uh, so it is air-conditioned, and it's got climate control as well. Uh, beneath that, you've got this really nice sort of storage area. Um, this car, that's part of one of the, the, I think it's the technology pack it's got. Um, you get the wireless uh, charging for so as long as your phone's got wireless charging, stick it on there, and it'll charge. If you haven't got a wireless charging phone, they're still giving you a USB port. You just need to use the cable to uh, charge your phone. A couple of drinks holders in there as well, and an additional 12 volt supply in there. Um, eight speed automatic gearbox. So up front, you've got a uh, diesel engine, three liter, six cylinder uh, turbo engine, uh, and then you've got it mated to this eight speed automatic gearbox. So uh, really, really good combination. Lots and lots of power pulling, the torque is immense. And the eight speed automatic gearbox, very, very smooth, very, very intuitive, changes gear when you want it to. It, you know, it's quick to change as well. If you want more control, you've got a couple of options um, with it in drive. So button is on the side, down into drive. Uh, if you want to change gear yourself, you can move it across and then you can change up and change down or you can use the paddles so left hand side of the steering wheel change down right hand side of the steering wheel change up uh, but the gearbox itself brilliant gearbox just leave it to sort itself out electric handbrake on the x4 and you also have the uh, added feature of auto hold so you can pretty much forget about the handbrake it'll sort itself out also, whilst I'm down here, you've got your traction control buttons, you've got your different driving mode buttons, so you've got Sport, Comfort, Eco Pro, parking sensors, and then you've got hill descent control. So if you are on a muddy slope and you're going to go downhill, press this button here, and then you can adjust the speed on uh, using the cruise control button, and then it'll just manage the car going downhill. So uh, really, really nice feature. Big armrest on here. Loads and loads of storage, and you've also got a USB-C port in there, so great for fast charging your phone. Um, M-Sport steering wheel, so you've got the thicker steering wheel with the thumb hooks. You've also got cruise control and speed limit on this side. Heated steering wheel on this car, so that's really, really nice. Uh, and then over here you've got voice control, Bluetooth control, uh, and then you've got your volume control and your control for your media over here. If you're into your music, this car's got the Harman Kardon sound system, so uh, much better than the standard speakers, so that's a really, really good option this car's got. Uh, you've got your central locking buttons on the door, you've got electric mirrors, which will fold in as well, so there you 
you go. Um, you've also got electric windows all the way around. You can lock the ones out in the back for kiddies, and you've got an electric boot release. Uh, your automatic wipers, and you've got coming on here automatic lights as as well. So uh, literally everything you can think of. They're really really well equipped car. Right, I'll just turn it off and show you the rest of the car. Nice big doors into the back of the X4. Loads and loads of leg room. Really, really practical car. Three seat belts across the back. Two outer people get a bit more room. And the two outer seats have also got ISO fix if you've got the kids. And you've got separate controls in the rear. So you can set a different temperature. And you've also got a couple of USB-C fast charging ports as well. So charging up iPads, Kindle, stuff like that. And again, you can see the arm and card and sound system in the, in the back. Around the back, get the rear three quarters in. Really, really pretty car, the X4. Twin exhaust out the back, you've got the 30D uh, badging, three litre diesel, X drive, four wheel drive. Electric boot, open it up on the key, driver's door, or uh, like I just press the button there. Uh, really, really big boot on the X4. You've also got split rear seat, so you've got the 20, 40, 20. 40, 20, 40. Um, so if you've got extra, you know, low, long loads, you can uh, put those seats down. A little bit more storage on this side. You've also got a little shopping hook and a 12 volt supply. Little rails there as well. So rails are quite handy. You can strap things down to uh, stop them moving around. And then to close it, you can either use the key or in this case, I'm just gonna press the button. And electric tailgate, there you go, Sh shuts. Those gorgeous 20 inch diamond cut wheels with the blue brake calipers. Loads and loads of space in the back. Those gorgeous uh, M Sport seats, really, really comfortable, really, really supportive. This car does have, you see these little lines here, it means it's got comfort access. So as long as you've got the key in your pocket, you can just walk up to the car, grab onto the door handle and the car will open. Saves you having to find the uh, keys in your, in your pocket or your handbag if they're buried down at the bottom. Um, anyway, this car's for sale. It's a 2020 car, three and a half thousand miles. Uh, if it's of interest, then give us a shout. We can sort out any figures for you or anything like that. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.